I'm going to do a quick review of the new Cobalt Blue Solo Stove I received for my birthday. This comes from Zelf Stove Works. The main reason I chose this particular stove is it is top jetted as opposed to the side jet so that you see on the Super Cat stove that I made that's sitting next to it. What I found with the Super Cat is with those side jets in the narrow diameter of the GSI Minimalist Pot that I use, it took an awful lot of fuel to boil two cups, typically a good two ounces and Zelf is claiming anywhere from a half ounce to three quarters of an ounce to boil two cups of water with his stove. So uh, take a quick look at the stove, it looks very well designed, uh, starts out with a beer bottle, he's got a little fiber wick in there to uh, seal it. One of the neat designs is he's got this uh, little braided copper wick that comes up there so you don't have to stick the match way down in to uh, light it. So what I'll go ahead and do is put in uh, three quarters of an ounce of fuel and we'll give it a go from there. But before we do that, let's see how much she weighs. So the stove comes in at 33 grams. It also includes a windscreen, which I've already cut down for the diameter of my pot. So that's at 16. So I've got three quarters of a cup measured out. Make sure you drip a little bit on that braided copper wick. See how quickly it blooms. Be a quick shot in the dark of uh, what the flame pattern looks like. As it warms up, that orange will go away. Start the clock. And we'll put the windscreen on and uh, see where we end up in about uh, six to seven minutes. I believe he claims uh, three quarters of an ounce, seven minutes to boil two ounces of water. So. Based on my experience with a super cat, that seems a little optimistic, but uh, that's what Mythbusters is all about. See if we can prove out his claims. So at four minutes, you can see the bubble starting to form, but we're not at a boil yet. We're five and just shy of six minutes. We have rolling boil, so Zelf's claims of seven minutes, uh, at least inside the garage where it's probably about 60 degrees are uh, definitely met. So this is confirmed. We'll continue to uh, let it run, see when we get flame out in three quarters of an ounce. And there's flame out just shy of seven minutes. So three quarters of an ounce boiled in less than six minutes. And that was with heat. I'm going to let everything cool down and repeat the test with denatured alcohol, see how it does there. The next myth I want to attempt to bust is that heat is better than denatured alcohol. So I'm going to add the same three quarters ounce denatured alcohol and see what kind of boil times I get there in comparison to the heat. And you can see a fairly quick bloom. It does take a little bit to get the orange out of the flame and get a good solid flame, but definitely blooms quickly. All right, let's see how this one works out. One thing I am noticing at four minutes is it looks like the flame with the denatured alcohol is wrapping up further around the outside of the pot and maybe burning hotter but because it's wrapping around not getting as much into the pot so i don't think there's quite as many bubbles inside the pot at four minutes as there was with the heat but we'll see when we get to boil and right about there we're getting a little bit of a roll so uh within about five ten seconds of each other i don't think my experiment's precise enough to say that uh one is any faster so i would say if that myth is busted, for me, both the natured alcohol and heat are really equivalent, and I'll be using either one, whichever one I have access to. And there's flame out at seven, so again, very comparable to the heat. Last thing I want to cover in this video is a recent change I made to my gear, thanks to uh, Stick from Stick's blog. I'll put his link here on the bottom. 
Uh, I'd love to do free, freezer bag cooking, and so I'd made this cozy out of Reflectix that I picked up at Home Depot. Works well, simple envelope. One of the things I ran into is that it always wants to collapse, so I'm always trying to hold it open as I eat. find it just to be a little too awkward. And so I uh, looked at another design. Now the uh, GSI Minimalist already comes with its own cozy, so I don't really need a cozy from that standpoint, but I went ahead and made what looks to be a cozy for my pot out of Reflectix. Made a lid for it, and when I'm uh, hiking, it stores nicely inside, but it's really meant as more of a bowl. So I can put my freezer bag in there and uh, spread it out as more of a bowl, and it keeps it open instead of using the envelope, which wants to collapse. So a cozy for the cozy, I guess you could say, but it's really uh, meant to be a pot. And obviously, freezer bag cooking, no cleanup, and so that's a recent change. A little more compact. I used to have to wrap this around my uh, pot, stick it inside of a stuff sack, and obviously this design is much cleaner. It just simply slides around. I put the lid underneath it, and we're good to go.